Don't forget it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Don't forget it's Valentine's Day coming up really soon. What? Valentine's Day? Yo, let's go! <laughs> And welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. And last time, it seems that Monica has noticed that Sayori looks unokay or moody and such. And we're gonna find out in today's episodes and we're gonna go right into it. So, you guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. Also, before I begin, I had to redo everything. Well, especially for the gameplay part because, well, reasons. <laughs> Is Sayori okay? She'll be fine, just dealing with some stuff, that's all. Hmm. Compared to the last time she was acting off in school, you seem a lot less worried. That was when I knew less about her. She narrows her eyes at me. I guess what I've said must have come across as pretty cryptic. Okay. Well, let me know if we can help in any way, okay? We? Oui. The other club members, we're all friends after all, don't forget. Uh, oh, of course. What a stupid question, Finn. It's appreciated, I'll see what Sayori thinks. Okay then, well, I'll see you later. Well, I think Sayori de is definitely more convincing than I am. She walks off and after a couple of moments, Sayori comes out of her class. I'm sorry, I'm late. It's okay, let's go. Do you know what was up with Monica? Funny you mentioned her because she just asked me what was up with you. Oh, what did you tell her? Eh, just that you're dealing with some stuff. Didn't give any specifics. They're worried about you though. Have you considered telling them? Eh, no, not really. They're our friends, Sayori. They know something is up. I know, I know. I can sense that this isn't a topic Sayori wants to discuss any further. Anyway, uh, no, I don't know why Monica seems so snappy at lunch. She mentioned her parents, so they're probably a bit overbearing. Must be difficult to maintain that model student image. When you're at the top, the only place to go from there is down. Juggling academics and other with sports and other extracurriculars must be really stressful. I don't know how she does it, to be honest. Well, it takes a lot of uh, hard work and uh, dedication to it, I suppose. I felt a, a little sorry for Natsuki, though. The conversation kinda excluded her. I know for sure that when I was a first year, most school plans hadn't even crossed my mind. Yeah, I thought that too. Well, we'll make sure to include her next time. Good shout. After dumping our things aside, I pull out my phone. I really should have talked to mom a while ago, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna make me feel bad about it. Uh... Hey mom. Oh yeah, mom C. Oh, okay, we'll see how this goes. Oh, Finn. Nice of you to remember you have a mother. I win slightly. I knew this was coming. I know, I know, I really should have called you earlier. It's not that I didn't want to or anything. Anyway, Sayori's with me right now. Do you want to say hello? I'd love to. I press a button on my phone which transforms the call into a video call. Okay. My goodness, is that really you, Sayori? Yo! Mom C! <laughs> well then, um... Guess it's uh, good to um call her at this moment to see what me and Sayori have been up to and... Uh, Oh man, mom, uh, especially when you're uh, away from each other and all that stuff. I know how that feels and all, but still, it's it's really happy to see her again, really. I really, really do. Last time I saw you, you were barely a teenager. Sayori laughs shyly. I guess I'm putting her on a spot here a little. Hi, it's really nice to see you again. And you, dear. I hope Finn has been treating you well. Of course. I shoot Sayori a desperate look. This might be a perfect opportunity to enact some revenge for all the times I teased her. Of course, he's been really good to me. That's lovely to hear. Looks like my little prince has truly matured. 
Little Prince. Okay, um... Little Prince, huh? Guess, uh, guess I'll, uh, I'll be Prince Finn, I suppose, but still. Okay! <laughs> they share a laugh as I turn slightly red from embarrassment. Mom, really? Little Prince? I'm sorry, darling. I'm just so proud of you. Well, at least we've established what Sayori is gonna calling what's <laughs> what Sayori is gonna call, be calling me for the next few days, <laughs> little prince. Well, I don't mind if she'll call me Prince Finn, and uh, well, unless if I'm gonna call her Princess Sayori and all, but <laughs> they continue to giggle at my expense. He's always been like this, hasn't he? Quick to tease others, but once they do it to him, he gets all huffy. Sayori did not take her side. You're my girlfriend. She's trying and failing to keep a straight face. Okay, okay, no more teasing. Sorry, I just had to get you back for not calling me for so long. How did your December exams go? I briefly des described my results along with Sakurai's comments. Well, that's reassuring to hear. I was worrying how you'd fare living by yourself, so... I'm glad to hear that your academics are going well. Sakurai has a point though. Your grades in math could be better, young man. Well, mathematical ain't. Sayori, you're going to have to knock him into shape. He's always been bad with discipline. What? I snorted in derision. Well, I don't mind. I definitely needed that, honestly. And you're asking Sayori of all people to help me with that? Hey! <laughs> uh, well, like I said, I don't really mind. So, uh, Mom sighs dramatically. Sorry, Sayori. He can be really mean sometimes, can't he? Must have got that from his father. There's an awkward silence. Things have been very rocky between Mom and Dad since the divorce. Oh, by the way, I've got some good news. We're almost finished dealing with this particular client, and I have no one else to deal with for a week. So I'm hoping to come and see you soon. My heart races. As much as I love being able to basically live with Sayori, seeing mom again after so long would be really nice. That's awesome, mom. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you. How ha- She's cut short by the sound of someone calling her. It sounds pretty urgent. Oh uh, no, I was hoping I'd have more time to talk to you. Sorry darling, I'm going to have to go. We'll catch up properly, all three of us, when I come to visit you. Don't forget it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Don't forget it's Valentine's Day coming up really soon. And I want to hear about all about how you've been treating Sayori like a princess for- What? Valentine's Day? Yo, let's go! And uh, treating Sayori like a princess? Well then, uh, if, I, if I don't mind her calling me Prince Finn, then I guess I'll, well, call her Princess Sayori or Princess Cinnamon Bun. Not that Cinnamon Bun, this Cinnamon Bun. It, you get what I mean, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, imagine if Cinnamon Bun meets this Cinnamon Bun. Well, that would be a whole story for another time, I suppose, but still. Well, I guess I'll be treating Princess Sayori for, uh, for Valentine's Day, and in all honesty, a lot more better than the princesses I've hung out or met in the land of U2. She laughs softly and waves goodbye. Uh, click. I forgot how nice your mom is. Yeah, she's always been such a good parent. She was a lifesaver back in November after our fight. You're such a mommy's boy. Come on now, I really, really need help because I had no idea how relationships work. At least for the MC's perspective. You know what I mean. Hey. It's a good thing. <laughs> it's really cute. I get the feeling you're mocking me, but because I know I can't win this battle, I'll reluctantly cons concede. The Ice Queen wins again. You're a real clown, you know that? <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> True, but I'm your clown. I prefer the one from that horror movie we watched with Yuri. Pennywise. No, I prefer 
this cinnamon bun over Pennywise. So, no questions asked, people. Such a charmer. <laughs> the rest of the day passes by relatively quickly. After finishing our homework, we spend the evening kicking back with some video games. This has been our routine for a while now. Sayori coming over, we finish our homework and then relax. It's simple, but effective. I'm glad we're both happy just to sit back and relax in each other's company. Then again, Sayori has never been a high maintenance kind of girl. Watching her now with her sky blue eyes narrowed in concentration. Glob, I love her. Yup, my heart goes doki doki whenever I'm with her. Really, because <laughs> she's just so cute and, uh, well, very kind and nice and all. <laughs> In other words, she's kind, nice, and cute. Well, let's just leave it there. Is now the right time to see it, though? What, are you gonna tell her I love you and all, and then... That? Maybe not, let's just save it for Valentine's Day. What if she doesn't feel the same way? That'll be a little awkward, to say the least. Nah, now it isn't the time. Hey, like I said, there's um, there's going to be the right time for it, so now is not the time. Because there's time for anything and everything. I was curious, Sayori. What do you want to do after you finish school? You didn't say anything at lunch. I don't really know. She sighs. I thought that going into therapy might be a good idea, but... No, forget it. It's a stupid idea. Huh? It's not stupid at all. It is. I don't know if I'd be even be any good at it. I can't help myself, so how can, how can I help others? You're good at keeping the spirits high in the club, at least. People appreciate having you around, and it's definitely more comfortable an atmosphere when you're there. When you're there. It's one thing to keep peace in a high school club, but helping people with really big problems as a therapist. You know, the really horrible things that people have to live with. It's a whole other story. Have you mentioned it to your teacher at least? They might be able to point you in the right direction. She shrugs nonchalantly. I haven't, no. Truthfully, I haven't thought about the future much. Well, at least we're like that in a sense, although our reasoning for it is rather different. We've got all plenty of time though, right? Yeah, I guess we do. The conversation trails off into silence. I suppose thinking about the future is quite difficult for Sayori, so I make a mental note not to push it. Anyway, it's getting late. Let's call it a night. Can I be the big spoon tonight? Not sure how that worked, but sure. Big Spoon? You guess she's going to hug me? At, well, something? I don't know. Well, let's not, uh, let's not, <laughs> let's not jump straight into that. As Sakurai finishes explaining the morning's task and settles down to mark some papers, I find myself absentmindedly fiddling with my pen. Pulling open my textbook, I flip to the relevant page. Suddenly, I'm aware of a poking sensation on my shoulder. Morning, Emmy. Surprised you weren't late today. Hey, it's not my fault track practice ran on for so long today. I mean, is it? Won't you decide how many laps you run? Semantics, Finn. I chuckled to myself. If you say so. Anyway, you wouldn't happen to have any good Valentine's ideas, would you? Mom brought it up yesterday. I didn't realize how quickly Valentine's has come around this year. Um... I'm not entirely sure if it's a time skip when uh, when it's almost the like the end of January and uh, the beginning of February. Well, I don't know. I don't know how time works, especially that we're still in November and all things right now. But <laughs> you get my point. My boyfriend only got out of hospital a few days ago, so we're just taking things slow. I think he mentioned wanting to take me to a tea house, though. Hospital. Is he alright? Yeah, just heart stuff. Um, let's not, get, no, let's not get into that because I'm not sure if he got into an accident or something, but eh, that's way out of our, uh, that's, that's, um, something. I, I don't know. 
Anyway, what have you and Sayori got planned? That's what I'm asking you for. <laughs> neither, of our, neither of us have really mentioned for doing anything for it. I've never done anything for Frown Time so far, so I'm totally out of my depth here. Emmy giggles. There's a playful, mocking air to her laughter. She's your girlfriend, Finn. Shouldn't you know her the best? Yeah, but... Relationships, man. They're confusing. Just ask her. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to be direct. Well, unless she's expecting a surprise from you, that is. Well then, you're on your own there. <laughs> Some help you are. What happened to female intuition? We can give you all the answers, Finn. Sometimes you gotta work things out for yourself. Yeah, because me trying to figure out what the best thing to say and do in a relationship is going so well. Life's unfair. Well, definitely not because, well, can't rely on anyone or anybody too much on it because you gotta do things for yourself. Let's just say, let's take her out on a surprise date. How about that? After class ends, I make my way to the club room. As I open the door, I realize that it's just Nozaki inside. When was the last time I even spoke to her alone? Hey! Afternoon. Listen, I, I need your help with something. She looks at me suspiciously. What? Uh, why are you giving me that face, uh... Why are you giving me, giving me that face, Natsuki? With what? Well, you're a girl and... Thanks for noticing. And, uh, where would a girl want to be taken for Valentine's Day? Uh... And how long have you known Sayori for? Why does this sound so familiar? Um... Emmy, I guess? Or Mom C? I don't know. Maybe Emmy. Is this really a crime for me to ask for some Valentine suggestions? A while, but in my defense, I've only been here for, what, two months? I was thinking of, like, some kind of restaurant, but I don't know which ones are good or not. The door opens and Monica and Yuri walk in. What were you two talking about? I glance desperately at Natsuki, hoping she doesn't expose me in front of everyone. Finn was asking me where I should take his girlfriend for Valentine's Day. I groan. Oh, Natsuki, you... you... Oh, you sneaky little cupcake. Jeez, when you put it like that... I just needed some pointers, that's all. The door, seconds and the door opens a second time and Sayori wanders in. If it were me, I wouldn't even bother. Valentine's is pointless. All that sappy stuff, yuck. People hugging and kissing in public, giving each other sappy cards. No thanks. It's quite a romantic day though. People telling their partners how much they mean to them. All the gets, the thoughtfulness. Yeah, it's great if you like that, but keep it away from me. Well then, um, Natsuki, I think I know the perfect candidate for you on Valentine's Day, and I'm sure he'll definitely spoil you and love you. Something else I don't get is that Valentine's is supposed to be a day where you show your love for your partner, blah blah blah. But aren't you meant to do that every day? Uh... Well, that's a different thing because Valentine's Day is a lot more special than, than normal days, so... Just have to go all out on uh, on spoiling and treating your girl right, and so much. Thought so. So it's safe to say that Cupid didn't shoot you with any arrows this year then, huh? She glares at me and Sayori giggles. <laughs> ah, real clever, MC. Army. We all know you're a softy at heart, Natsuki. Am not. There's nothing wrong with admitting it. Just wait until you get a boyfriend. Oh, like I said, I know the perfect candidate for you. <laughs> As we're digging into our food, Monica taps me on the shoulder. I think I have a solution to your crisis. Oh? Oh? Really? Please do tell. There's a really nice restaurant in town I went to last year at the debate club. It's called the Amber Beehive and their food is really good. Amber Beehive? Okay, I was going to make a Genshin joke out of this, but 
no, that's just no. <laughs> but still, though, I cannot wait to go to that restaurant with me and Sayori. Oh boy, this is going to be a real treat soon. It's a little on the formal side, though, so you probably have to dress something smart. See if Sayori has a dress or something. Seems kind of sophisticated, I, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't they take a bunch of teenagers? Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? Well then, a formal dress code kind of thing or something. I don't know. If Sayori has a dress, then might as well wear something special for that one once we get into it. So I guess it will be, a, be um, a special finale, I suppose. So, well, the formal dress code and all, uh, wouldn't we feel really out of place? Sorry, I'm just, uh, well, as you can see, you two dating and all that. It's okay. <laughs> Don't overthink it, though. Just see it as a fancy date. That's all. I'm sure Sayori would like it as well. I think the music will really suit the atmosphere. Pretty jazzy. Oh, jazzy, huh? Well then, looks like I'll be asking Sor Sayori if she... Or, well, I'm gonna be asking Sayori if, uh... You like jazz and all that? <laughs> I like jazz music. Really, really calm and uh, really relaxing, honestly. I, I like jazz music. Or any kind of music, rather. Thanks then, I'll look into it tonight. That's okay. Sayori will be impressed. And don't worry, I won't tell her you got the idea from me. You're a lifesaver, Monica. Don't mention it. Oh, I forgot to say. Sorry for snapping at you at lunchtime yesterday. Parents... That's okay, I imagine you had a lot on your plate. Besides, you you rescued my valentines, so you redeemed yourself. <laughs> That's good to hear. It's okay, sometimes some people have their, uh, their, um, their weaknesses and all that. Oh, by the way, you can never go wrong with a fried squid. Duly noted. Maybe I'll be able to salvage this valentines after all. Well then, we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. So, uh, what are our valentines plans? Uh, Sayori? Huh? Oh. Uh, sorry, I was spacing out. I don't know, to be honest. I haven't really given it much thought. Oh. I'm glad it's... I'm glad it isn't just me. I was worrying you'd have expected me to have something planned. What's with this being my first relationship and all, I'm hardly experienced in that department. She giggled softly at my, uh, at my sheepishness. Don't worry about it, Finn. We can just play it by ear tomorrow. Winging it, huh? Eh, so yeah, this sounds more like me. Sorry, I just burped there. Anyway, I've been really lagging behind with homework. I have a lot to do, so you don't mind if we don't spend this evening together? Well, this is convenient. Now I can look up the bookings for the restaurant without giving away the surprise. Hehe, <laughs> let's go! And yes, I really do not want to ruin the element of surprise, so this is the perfect plan. All part of my master plan. Oh, sure, I was about to say the same thing, actually. I'll see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow then? Okay, see you later, Finn. She gives me a quick kiss and heads off inside. As I settle into the sofa, I quickly notice that the living room lights are on. There's also some sound coming from the kitchen. That's weird. There's no reason for anything to be making noise in the kitchen as I always turn the lights off in the living room before I go to school. In an attempt to stop the sudden bout of panic, I force myself to rationalize the situation. It can't be a burglar because they wouldn't make this much noise. So that must mean... Hello? Anyone there? Could it be... Could it be who I think it is? A familiar voice greets me back. Finn, is that you? Mom! A huge grin forms on my face as I spot, spot my mom emerging from the kitchen. A warm smile on her face. Mom, see us home? Yo, let's go! Um... Uh, same feeling when I get to meet my mom a few years before 
and uh, well, reunited in a way because it's always a good feeling, you know, reuniting with one of your uh, one of your parents for so long for like abroad and such. But that would be a story for me to tell in another day, but not now, fellow knights. I rush forward and embrace her. It feels so good to have her back. I didn't know you were coming today. I wanted to keep it a surprise, dear. We let go and she looks me over. I'm so sorry you've been alone for so long. I tried so hard to come back earlier, but business was having none of it. It's okay, I'm just glad you're here now. I sniff the air. Something smells delicious. Are you making something? Yes, teriyaki, one of our favorites. You're the best, seriously. Always nice to be reminded, it's almost ready. Well, never tried teriyaki, but maybe soon I will in the future. I'll give you a hand. She ruffles my hair. My my hair or my hat? I, I, I am not taking this off, really. But, um, well, if you want me to do a hair reveal, might as well uh, do that when I reach 100 subs. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, uh, how about your, uh, how about your Grandmaster Finn right here and... Uh, We'll go for a 100, guys. <laughs> We're almost there. Kind of. It's okay, sweetheart. My treat for you. There isn't much left to do anyway. Are you sure? Positive. It's only as I'm wolfing my food down do I realize how hungry I am. Mom's cooking has always been incredible, too. Enjoying yourself, I see. Can you blame me? I haven't met anyone who can cook better than you can. She laughs heartily. So, let's have that long-awaited catch-up. Tell me about how everything has been since you joined that club. I finished eating and pushed my plate away. Sighing constantly, I pat my stomach. Well, as you know, it all started when I saw Sayori on the sidewalk. Once I start, it's almost impossible to stop. There's so much to say, so much to describe. Now that we aren't limited by short phone calls, I can finally go into detail into what life's been like since September. After describing the first few days, I recall how the festival went. She shakes her head as I recall those inconsiderate lumpuses acted. Oh right, the uh, the one from the festival. Dang it, I missed that one person. I uh, I almost had him, but he almost got away. Dang it. Don't you guys worry, I still have a settle to score with that with that lumpus. Oh boy, he's going to take a, take some notes from this knight right here for insulting the Lurcher Club. That's a big no-no. No one's going to run away from the wrath of me. Unbelievable. Some people just absolutely have no respect. No kidding. The worst part is that it caused Mo Natsuki and Monika to have a really bad argument. I quickly go over that, not wanting to dwell too much on the fight, it's still something I'd rather forget. Mom smiles as I recount how my feelings for Sayori started to blossom. Oh, and then there was Halloween. We all dressed up, broke into school, wrote some spooky poems, and summoned the Shinto spirit. You did what now? Uh, dressed up? Not that. Wrote some spooky poems? You know what I'm referring to. Oh, um, breaking into school and summoning a Shinto spirit. That might be it. Oh, breaking into the school thing. She doesn't look very impressed. Uh oh, whoopsies. Come on, mom. It was just a bit of harmless fun. Didn't you say you called a spirit over? Okay, maybe not entirely harmless then. For what it's worth, we all had fun. It was really a nice bonding experience. She sighs under her breath. Teenagers these days get their enjoyment from the weirdest things. Okay, so maybe playing around with the Ouija board wasn't the wisest idea. But hey, it'll be a good story for my kids, right? If you say so, Finn. Anyway, so then when November rolled around... Uh... The rest of the evening rolls around. We've both had a lot to talk about, and the time has really flown. She yawns. Well, it definitely sounds like you've had a hectic past few months. Girls, San secret Santas, and Shinto ghosts. What a mix. 
Anyway, I'm still quite tired from my flight, so I'm going to have an early night. I'll be around for a while, so we can always carry on tomorrow. Yeah, sure thing. I've got a lot of homework to be getting on with anyway, so that's fine. Good boy. I love you, Finn. Love you too, Mom. See you tomorrow. After grabbing a drink from the kitchen, I walk over to my bag and pull out the relevant textbooks. Let's get this over with. Just as I'm about to begin, I feel my phone buzz. Oh, Yuri! Okay, hello. Evening, Finn. Do you have any plans for this evening? Yeah, sorry, Yuri. I have a lot of homework to be getting on with. Oh, what do you have to do? Perhaps I could help you out? I paused my fingers hovering over the screen. Sayori never said that I couldn't hang out with Yuri, and I don't think sh that she's the controlling type. I mean, she's not manipulative at all, she's just, you know, jealous and all. So, no. But even though I know I'm not doing anything inherently wrong by spending time with Yuri, I can't help but feel like I'd make Sayori's jealousy worse if I did. We're just friends, nothing else. But then again, I did say that I'd help, uh, help Yuri out with her loneliness. Although this was before I knew the impact I have on Sayori. Yeah. Nah, it's okay. There's a lot of there's a lot to do, but I can handle it. Thanks though. There's a pause in her reply. Uh It's okay, Finn. Hope you have a pleasant evening. I can't help but feel guilty as I put my phone away. I hope she doesn't think I'm ignoring her. Given her personality, it's definitely possible. Why can't this just be simple and not so complicated? Yeah! You'd think that for my first relationship, life would be nice and not throw me into a deep end. I'm all it over as I finish the rest of my homework. I climb into bed, feeling exhausted. Today wasn't a taxing day, at least physically. From a mental perspective, it's a whole other story. I still wish that I could do much more for Sayori, and the uncertainty on how to deal with Yuri isn't helping. Still, it's nice to know that I'm not alone in the house. It'll probably be worth talking to mom about the whole situation with Sayori tomorrow. I probably should have talked to mom a little more. She's been in my s s exact same position before. Ah well, better late than never, right? Yeah, it's never late than ever, so gotta make the most of it before she uh she heads back to work. So make the most of it. Huh. Next day and it's probably morning now, so but, uh, problems aside and talking to Mom C, I'm sorry fellow knights are gonna end this episode right here, but don't you guys worry, there will always be the next episode. And I really enjoyed this episode, honestly, um, out of the, all the episodes aside from the jokes I made and all, well, meeting Mom C in person is a, um, a real treat, really, and, uh, finally get to meet one of the new characters in person, aside from Emi, Shiori, Sakurai, well, for Mom C, this is a whole different level. Oh, Mom. Hmm. But if you enjoyed what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching, Finn the Diamond Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun fellow knights and adventurers.